Hi there. This video is brought to you by DogTrainingPedia.com. We're going to talk about four simple steps on how to house train or house break your puppy or dog. This video is packed with information which will help you out. To see the written transcription or even more excellent dog training tips like these, go click the link in the description or see our other related videos. Okay, let's get started. I know how difficult it must be house training a puppy, most especially an older dog. In the beginning stages, it's crucial to house train your puppy and not destroy your things at home. It doesn't matter if they aren't perfect with their commands or can't sit still, as long as they learn where to do their business. I won't have to clean it myself, and I won't have to clean up messes after myself. So if you're wondering how to accomplish house training your puppy or dog, read on. I'll show you the steps and stages to follow. 1. Prevention If there's one thing to take note of, it's that dogs are creatures of habit. If they pee one time and you don't reprimand them, they'll begin doing it again. It isn't your dog to blame for peeing in the house if they continue doing it, but you for not taking action and letting them be. Of course, it's an accident since most of us aren't at home to witness it, and by the time we do, it's too late to correct their behavior. This is why you need to learn how to prevent it from happening again or at all. There are two different ways to do so. The first is to tether your puppy, which is to restrict their movements safely and healthily. That's where crate training comes along. I recommend that you put your crate in the mudroom or in areas that you can easily clean up messes without it smelling up the entire home. Let her sleep in the crate for a few weeks and allow her to become accustomed to staying there while you're sleeping or outside. When she's out with you, place her on a leash until you trust her enough that she won't misbehave. Let her love the crate and once she's better behaved, let her out and allow her to roam without a leash. Go slower and that's when you begin house training. 2. Encourage good behavior You need to make sure you encourage good behavior, which means letting her know you liked what she did. For the first few months, let them work for their food, aka reward her with meals when she goes to the bathroom outside. When she does, give her food and a lot of praises. Some would give them a treat instead. Note that you only have a second or two to let your dog know what she did was right, so act fast. 3. Discourage bad behavior This step isn't the most important, but it is still crucial to know about. If ever your dog has an accident at home, make sure they know what they did is wrong. I've heard a lot of people say that you can't correct dogs as they won't know what you're doing. Yes, they will know if they were wrong based on your voice and actions. They aren't stupid. Just like praising your dog once she does her business, discourage her when she does it wrongly. Make sure that it's timely and fair, so do it when the action is in process or a second after it's done. Besides this, do not yell, scream, or physically harm her, which just instills fear and hostility. Remember, you're a parent, not a boss that they'll end up hating in the future. Instead, you get her with the leash and take her outside to finish her business or to let her know where she should do it next time. This is best to do while she's still doing her business. She'll begin to associate the outside as a place to do her thing, knowing where the proper place to pee or poo. 4. Make it a routine As I mentioned, dogs are creatures of habit and live for routine. That's where step 4 comes in, which is to make it a routine and have your dog trust it. You don't have to set the routine in stone, but just schedule a few aspects of your dog's life, specifically their feeding and house training. Feed your dog for 5 to 10 minutes, then pick up the food whether they're done or not, which puts them on a routine. As for water, avoid giving them constant flow of water, since that's the reason why they need to pee at the wrong hours, especially when they drink a lot of it. I recommend that you do give her water daily, but to stop giving her access to it 3 to 4 hours before it's time to sleep. Now when making her bathroom schedule a routine, take them to do their business once you wake up and right before you sleep. Also take them out an hour after eating, after they're out of the crate, after playtime, and or after they drank a lot. That way they'll know when it's time to go. The entire process can take a couple of months, but just be patient and it will be worth the wait. You'll have years of mess-free and accident-free rooms and a well-behaved pet all in just four steps without the frills. I hope this article helped you out. For even more excellent dog training tips like these, click the link in the description right now or see our other related videos. Please leave your questions, tips, and experiences in the comments down below. Your thoughts are much appreciated.